Now you have a nice class here for a customer. If you want to have an array list of customers, you can do that. So array list here. Now you can put the data type as customer. So usually I call customer list. Uh, you can say your array list, but it's too long. Okay. Uh, here now customer. You can add that, and then you can create a new here, a new customer, and then maybe John, okay. and phone number, let's say something, you know. and here, Todd, okay. okay, and you have the same ability to um, delete to remove okay so you want to remove an index or you want to remove the object okay so let's say index zero and then you can um, check the index of and here index of customer but now this one is like no no object here it's like anonymous object if you want to find this you have to declare it outside like this you have to declare customer and you say John here yeah, for the John and then you put here John okay and then now if you want to find you can find like this okay if you put the anonymous instant here you cannot find because here is try to find an object called John with the uh, parameter John and here so the the index must be different if you just call new here okay this is the way and you want to uh, contain it's okay so let's let's do the lock here so, so let me recommend the remove otherwise you cannot find that so let me finish this let's say port okay let's copy this And now you have taught here. Okay, let me copy this to the top. It's easy to see. Here, that now you have a nice array here, and then you can add John and talk to that. So let's say you want to find the um, where is the where is John? Where is what is the index of John? So let's say I want to log with the customer and here uh, index of John. Okay. And here I just test the boolean. Now found John. So it should return true or false here. Okay. So let's do it. Okay. So let's change the the, the keyword here. To start the tag. So here you can see that now um, you can find John here, and the index of John is number zero, and the found John is true. So let's say you don't you cannot find John. Let's say um, you delete it, for example. Now you have a customer list and then you remove the index zero. So let me clear all the data and let's see if you can uh, find John or not. So let's run it. So let me change the debug customer here. Easy to see. Okay, see that? Now the index of John is uh, minus one. So remember if you want to test that if the index is minus one that you cannot find it. It's okay to 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 use um, interchangeable with the contain because index of uh, similar to contains um, contain is like true and false and the index of is minus one. Okay, so now you cannot find that. So the minus one means that that's out of range and then found John is false. Okay, so if you want to read the data back, you can use for each. Okay, 
um, but in Java you don't have for each just for but the statement is like so first you have to declare a variable as the data type of the release here and the column see that it's not semicolon it's the column here and then the second one is the uh, release okay it's like that but first you have to command the clear otherwise you don't have any data and this one let's command this okay so you don't have to do the four and then maybe index from zero and then index as the customer list.lang anymore in java now you can use a for each like that okay for each but it is no each keyword here but remember the statement here is here this is the each element is customer and if you look from the first element which is the index zero until the end of the element okay which is the size of a release minus one okay so now you can like um, customer like that and see that get name see that so just to loop okay see that now you have the data um, name from any um, element here the first one is John the second one is Tom okay so this is how you read the data back from the list and actually one last thing is that you can have an array the big one and then you can have the array list inside the array list like that okay so remember the java array have two dimension right so here is the two dimension the first one is x and the second one is y okay so the, the data is customer so if you want to do that you can do that so it's like xy list just my example okay so now you can have um, xy list at now you and here you have to create a new uh, small list of customer here so you can add the customer list to here see that remember is this the array list of customer okay so now you can add that but if you try to add uh, like a simple data for example john now you cannot add because it is just a simple uh, object and this is the bunch of objects it's an array list of objects and actually you can do whatever you want even to do with the hash map okay we will cover the hash map in the next tutorial also so you can do whatever you want and the, the number of elements is unlimited as um, the document from the java set you can add as many data as you want so it's very flexible so that's it for this video i hope you like it and if you have any question or doubt please comment down below and i will try to answer as many as possible thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video